enjoying the ride. I'm wild about it, yes. Thank you. It's good to be wild sometimes. You know, I've often thought of that funny story you told me the first time we met on the beach. The one about the Duke de Vange. First, I didn't know how to take it. I thought you were making a pass at me. Did I ever tell you about the man who taught his asshole to talk? His whole abdomen would move up and down on your dick, farting out the words. It was unlike anything I ever heard. Bubbly, thick, stagnant sound. Sound you could smell. This man worked for the carnival, you dig, and it started with it was like a novelty ventriloquist act. After a while, the ass started talking on its own. He would go in without anything prepared, and his ass would ad lib and toss the gags back at him every time. Then it developed sort of teeth like little raspy, incurving hooks and started eating. He thought this was cute at first and built an act around it, but the asshole would eat its way through his pants and start talking on the street, shouting out it wanted equal rights. It would get drunk, too, and have crying jags. Nobody loved it. I didn't want to be kissed, same as any other mouth. Finally, it talked all the time, day and night. You could hear him for blocks, screaming at it to shut up, beating at it with his fists, and sticking candles up at night. Nothing did any good, and the asshole said to him, it is you who will shut up in the end, not me, because we don't need you around here anymore. I can talk and eat and shit. After that, he began waking up in the morning with transparent jelly like a tadpole's tail all over his mouth. He would tear it off his mouth and the pieces would stick to his hands like burning gasoline jelly and grow there. So finally his mouth sealed over and the whole head would have amputated spontaneously except for the eyes you dig. That's the one thing the asshole couldn't do was see. He needed the eyes. Nerve connections were blocked and infiltrated and atrophied, so the brain couldn't give orders anymore. It was trapped inside the skull, sealed off. For a while, you could see the silent, helpless suffering of the brain behind the eyes. And then finally, the brain must have died because the eyes went out. And there was no more feeling in them than a crab's eye at the end of a stalk. <laughs>